All right, roll the dice with Elio and Mark, episode 35, but I feel like it's episode one because Elio, back when we were first talking about this way back in February and we were trying to put this together, we were just talking about sports. We were talking about hockey and basketball, football, baseball. We didn't even mention horses at that point, but then you went to the Bahamas, you got a kidney stone coronavirus and now finally here we are we're on the the cusp of baseball yay finally sports sports so real quick recap about today elio and i discussed earlier we know what we weren't good last week we know yep. that but then today elio goes and drops a bomb on everyone's fucking head and wins everything back from last week and then some so we're gonna have moments where we don't win right now, but it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's right. I mean, I think sports will be much will be much more consistent. I'm not saying we can't lose four or five days in a row. You, it can happen, but with horse racing, it's streaky. So you just gotta sort of stick with it. Um, don't blow your load all in one one shot. Even though I I wanted you to put your mortgage on that that horse today. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to have the money, you know, system going. Usually bet the same amount every time. And, you know, I, I think you'll come up on top if you listen to these two doctors. <laughs> We've been in this business a long time, right, Al? That's right. I'm 39 years old. I'm, I've been doing it for about 30 years. Excuse me, how old are you? All right. You want to move on to the races or do you want to go sports <laughs> first? Why don't um... – why don't you go give a horse race to start us off? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to give my two plays. They're back-to-back. -back. I'm going to sort of stick with the theme as yesterday. I'm going to take race two. Uh, I'm going to take the four horse. Uh, invest is the horse's name. Um, basically, my opinion on this race, he's six to one. So if Invest gets the lead, we have a 75% chance to win the race. So if he does not get the lead, we have an 8% chance to, to win. So let's get the lead. I think he's the fastest out there. At 6-1, to one, I think it's a really good price. Um, there's one other horse I'm a little nervous about, but four invest in race two. And then uh, going on to race three, it's a sort of tough race, a two-year-old turf race, basically babies running – a route race which is a mile and 16th so it's basically you're having these newcomers run a real long race when they've never even run a race before so you sort of have to go by pedigree uh trainers uh look at their um workouts so i am actually taking the two horse whose morning line is five to one he is uh the sire is dialed in. Dialed in is a horse that ran in the Kentucky Derby about 12 years ago. And I think I was there. And I think I might have bet at that time probably about 4,000. I had won the race before. I put everything on it. And he came in fifth. And he was the favorite. So I've always had a little thing with this dialed in. Um, so I'm going to take the two in race three. The name is... And a Moya, Sire's dialed in. So, uh, race two, take the four. Race three, take the two. Very nice. Very good ha uh, family history on this horse, too. Yeah, it's nice I know. to know. It's nice I to get the genealogy out of it. I had a little history on it, you know. Oh, look at that thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm rubbing, <laughs> rubbing her for luck. <laughs> well, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad you were able to find a use for that thing. Okay, so that the, what? Nice. Oh, look at that, huh? Well, you know what? If it wins, who cares, right? I mean, if it wins, the beak lights up. Good. Okay, so now we we shift to baseball. So the first bet of the season is for me is going to be the first game that's going to be played tomorrow at seven o'clock in Washington. I'm taking the over in that game. Now, I got it at seven earlier in the week. It's seven and a half at most places right now. I still would take it at seven and a half. It's going to be hot, humid. The wind is blowing out at the park tomorrow night. 
You know the Yankees got a good lineup. You got Scherzer versus Cole. Today's day and age, where they count every single pitch, you know that they're not going to have these guys going long. What are they going to go? 75 pitches tomorrow? But it's going to be really hot and humid. So, you know, I think there's going to be runs scored. Plus, you do have the factors of the wind blowing out, you know, 9, 10 mile an hour wind. I think seven, seven and a half is is a good play there. Um, that's where I'm going with my first pick. Well, it feels good. I mean, it must feel good to talk about baseball finally, huh? Yeah, it does feel good to, to talk about something, yes, other than horses. Then horses a gelding, like a, like a horse gelding. I personally like, rather talk about horses. But yeah. And I have a play for you, too. And it's, it's almost – it's a play against, basically. Mm-hmm. The Dodgers okay. and Kershaw, I mean, I know they're stacked. They're stacked every year. They always have a huge payroll, unbelievable players. But, I mean, minus 300, I just – I mean, you're going to get plus th- – what, plus 270? Uh, plus 260, yeah, depending where you are. I see 260 to 250. I mean, yeah. Listen, I throw a few bucks. I- I'm going to throw a few bucks on San Fran. So it's just the the Dodgers that do this. Listen, they're fraud. Let's just say they're going to make the playoffs. They do every year. And granted, this season's a little bit weird because it's only going to be, what, 60 games? Uh, games? That's, in theory, yeah, it's supposed to go in, 60 In theory. Games. So, I mean, the, they're, they're, they do the same thing every year. They're frauds. So take, take San Francisco, opening day. Who knows what's going to happen? Plus 260, whatever. I like that. Very good, Al. All right. So that is uh, – I, I have a lot of things circled for Friday, but right now um, I'm going to hold off. I do have one – well, you know what? I do have one other game that I have played for Friday night, and I wanted to get down on it because um, of the number. I was able to can get a – not. Huh? How uh, early can you get Can you get on it now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get it now. You oh, yeah. get on it because – they haven't played yet. It's not like the regular season. No, Sorry. normally, normally in the regular season, the next day's lines come up around yeah. one or two o'clock. Yeah. So I got the White Sox. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. the Rockies Rangers over nine. Uh, it's nine and a half in a lot of places, but I got a nine at Bookmaker. Again, it's ninety something degrees, humid, uh, wind blowing out. Those are the things I look for. To be honest, I'm not really all that concerned. You know. Uh, the rock, you know, Lance Lynn versus uh, Marquez, yeah. you know, two good pitchers. Uh, yeah. But the Heat early season, it's not pitchers, like it's not like we're playing in April in Boston. No, like you know. pitchers aren't stretched out. I don't care. How, you know, 75, 80 pitches. It's it's hot, humid, wind blowing out. A nine. I took the nine. Everyone else has got nine and a half. I was able to get a nine. So I I've got I'm down on that one there too. So those are the two that I've played so far, but I got a couple others I'm looking at. But um, those are the two baseball games. You I know have. what? I have to. I have a little rant. I have to say, right. I I watched a little bit of the Red Sox last night, and they let the other pitcher get out of the inning because of a pitch count. Did what you else? see? He it was only two outs in the inning. Oh well, I, I think these are basically they're basically scrimmage games. Well, but I, have you? I, I've never seen. Have you ever seen something like no, that? No, but it, I, I think they're playing these as they're they're bending rules right now to let teams do stuff. I know a game the other night ended in a tie because they ran out of pitchers. They didn't want it. They didn't want to play I, extra innings. I understand that. I, I get. I've seen that in in like the summer ball in spring ball where they you know they they only play nine innings. They yeah. want to play, but it was like the third inning. They just he, he just there was a guy on first and second I think and they just the inning stopped. Now I'd be pissed if because there are lines on those games. So what the hell does that mean? You just <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't play preseason. But, uh, but if you watch the Red Sox game last night, I would expect to see a ton of what just happened last night. They score runs, but they can't get the other teams out. Uh, I don't even know how they did tonight. I saw Vladimir Guerrero hit a home run early, but. Uh, I expect high-scoring games and just – Does Toronto have all X, like – Toronto has no – Toronto has no home. The, the city of Pennsylvania told them today, no. They, oh, the they, MLB approved it. Pittsburgh, the Pirates were willing to let them play there, and Pennsylvania came in and said no. Oh, I, I left them – okay. I don't know. I don't understand why, but Pittsburgh – Pennsylvania said no. So, they're still – they still don't have a home. Um <laughs> 
I mean, they're, they're starting their season in Tampa. I don't understand why they can't play at, like, one of their minor league facilities. You don't have any fans, so what the hell difference does it make? Yeah, what does it matter? Because well, I, I heard it was in, it's in Buffalo. So why don't they play in Buffalo? Yeah, I think that I think that's what they said they they're were going to. They're going to have to. Yeah, they're going to have to, yeah. Then what's the big deal? Well, uh, wouldn't you rather play in not in a – I mean, I don't know what the population of Buffalo is, but yeah, I guess it is a big city. I don't know. Go to a yeah. minor league park. Play in the middle of nowhere. Go play in Nebraska. They'd love it. Seriously. If you build it, it will come, right? That's right. Play right, there. buddy? You don't need it. It's, that's right. You don't need any fans. You can play at a high school park somewhere. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I agree. Okay. The only, the only futures bet I have in baseball, I bet it back in, like, January, and I hate it, but I still have it, and that's Aaron Judge to lead the Bajors and homers. It's, like, plus mm-hmm. 900. Uh I don't. He won't do it. I mean, he'll probably be hurt for a third of the. Yeah, season. That, that's the problem with him. He, if he's played the whole time, I would say he'd be the favorite. But I I, there's no way that guy plays. I know. So I uh, I don't like it, but I bet it in January and I have it. So screw it. I'll keep it. Maybe I'll back into it. Maybe it'll be a mistake reverse. But uh, there you go. Okay, so we got golf still going for tomorrow. It starts up on Thursday. Uh, Let's go, Andy. I looked at some of the laws. Red man who I got at 55 last night is down to 43. So he's oh, a big look, move. So they put the Gazo effect, huh? And the big move. The other guys, there were some other people with the tiny moves in just directions. But that was a – I was surprised about that one. Uh, what about his Migs? Who? Migs. Oh, Higgs. Oh, Higgs, Higgs, I'm sorry. No, I don't know. I yeah, Higgs, I Higgs was his throw in. <laughs> yeah, Higgs was his extra guy. I didn't even bother with it. Uh, I mean, I mean, most of these guys I've never even heard of before. Exactly, uh, it's not going to happen. Yeah, no, it's not. I but, told you, you know the story. It was actually pretty much the most famous trainer. We were, it was me, uh, Port, and uh, Bob Baffert. We were it, we were doing a little radio thing right at Saratoga, and Dave was said, "Oh, he he named his one of his horses. Uh, it was one of his like workers' name, like." PD the wizard or whatever. I, I forget. One of his employees, he was making fun of one of his employees. And the guy Baffert said, listen, you should change the name right now because if you, do you ever hear a Kentucky Derby horse with like PD the wizard? Like yeah. it's always like some proper, like uh, justified who just did it or American Pharaoh. Like you don't hear like these crazy names. That's why I feel like these golfers that he picked, I've never heard of any, barely any of them. A guy named Burns is going to win this? I don't know about that. Yeah, exactly. Watson? Yeah, I, I mean, I hope so, but I, I – I hope so. Homa? His name was H-O-M-A, Homa. I've never even heard of him before. We'll give the kid some slack because he's won three out of, what, five tournaments? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but after this one, if he doesn't come up with uh, something, we gotta we got to rein him in and say, listen, pick some name guys. <laughs> he's, I think they're fake guys, you, you know? I well, think they're the, fake they're, names. It looks like a lot of people aren't playing in this one. Uh, there weren't a lot of big names in it. Oh, okay. But is there a big tournament next week? I, have, I know the PGA was, I think, now in two weeks. Oh, okay. So that's that's so maybe the big... that's what it is. Okay, so that's good. We're ready for a Thursday to go make some money. We'll be back on Friday with Elliot. We'll have more horses and a full slate of baseball. So we'll see you. <laughs>